In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what adaptive images are, how they work, what they do, why they're important, and how to make it happen on your site using my favorite adaptive image plugin. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. If you like this kind of video, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And we're getting started right now. I'm going to show you what adaptive images are by way of an example. So I've run this site, elementor2019.com, through GT Metrics. And we've got a pretty good score because of our WP Rocket plugin and the setup I did for that. I have a tutorial showing you how I did that. I got the site from loading in five seconds down to 1.1 seconds. And that tutorial is in the description down below. So if you want to check that out, please do. And the one thing that WP Rocket cannot do is serve scaled images. And that's where we got a zero, an F. We have four images on this site that are larger than the size that they are on the site. And that is these three images on the homepage and our logo. And those images are these three right here. So the actual images, if I copy the image link, open a new tab, go to that image, it's actually this big. All three of them are this big. And in the website, or in the Elementor page builder, we've shrunk them down to this size. And GT Metrics is complaining because the, the website is loading an image that's this big, which is larger in file size than it would be if the image was only this big. And that's what a scaled image is. The image is scaled down to the size that's required. And adaptive images take that one step further where you can have one image, which is this one, and then the plugin that does the adaptive images scales it down as needed. So it'd scale it down to this size on a remote server and then serve the properly sized image on your site right here. And it would detect the person's viewport. So if they're using a mobile phone or a tablet or a desktop or a super big desktop, the images would always be the correct size for that viewport. So they would always be scaled and the file size would always be smaller than it will be if the full size image was shown. And that kind of thing makes GT Metrics very happy and you very happy because your site ends up loading faster because images are one of the top problems when it comes to page load speed. There are a number of plugins that do these adaptive images for you. The one that I use is called Short Pixel. And right now, as in right now, as this video is published, they are on AppSumo and you can get on board with Short Pixel, which is usually a monthly fee if you get the pro plan for only $39 one time lifetime. So if this is something you need, or even if you use ShortPixel, you might want to check that out. If you're watching this video after this deal runs out on AppSumo, there's a link in the description down below, which takes you to shortpixel.com. And on here, with through that link, you get 50% more of any one of these plans. So even if you have the free plan, instead of 100 images, you get 150 images. If you go through that link down below, you get 7,500 for the short, 18,000 for the large and what's that like 80,000 for the XL and even one time plans plus 50% so you get 15,000 for this one and uh, 45,000 for this one you get the idea only if you go through that link in the description and the way it works is short pixel gives you two plugins one is to optimize images the other is to make images adaptive and you can use them both in your site at the same time short pixel itself doesn't recommend you do but you can and the difference between the two, if you use the short pixel image optimizer, which these credits, they work for both. So you have two plugins, but you can use credits for either of them. If you use the image optimizer, it optimizes an image and that image stays optimized. So for example, this image is on the site. It would optimize this image and it would be done. It would be as lightweight as possible without losing quality and it would be optimized. It would not be scaled down. So GT metrics would still be complaining about the size of these original images. But you use one credit to scale down this image. You also use additional credits for every thumbnail version that you optimize as well. You can select to not optimize the thumbnails that are made if you want to. But every time an image is optimized, you use one credit. And your credits all reset at the end of the month or at the beginning of the month, whatever the case. With the adaptive images, you don't have an optimized image. You have your original image and it's optimized on the fly for every single visitor. So if you're using adaptive images, you end up spending a lot of credits on optimizing images if you have a lot of traffic. And that's where the AppSumo deal really shines because if we get down there, let's click on here, you get 12,000 image optimization credits per month forever for life for $40. And that is a lot of images. It also gives you a free CDN, which serves the images. Uh, but the point is that 
with the image optimizer, you use a credit, you optimize an image, the image is optimized forever as long as you don't delete it off your computer. With the adaptive images, the images need to constantly be re-optimized. The CDN that ShortPixel has caches the images for 30 days. So if you scale this image down from mobile devices, the CDN will cache that image for 30 days. After 30 days, that image will be gone and it has to be re-optimized. So you can kind of calculate based on how many different devices come to your site and how much traffic each one brings and how many images your pages have, you can kind of figure out how many adaptive image credits you need in a month. And if you have a lot of traffic, it adds up fast. So that's the big downside of using adaptive images. If you use something like Optimal, they give you a, a gigabyte amount credit per month based on your plan. So for them, it doesn't matter the number of images you're optimizing. For them, it matters the cumulative weight or file size of all the images you optimize in a month. And that's called Optimal. It's another great image plugin, image optimization plugin. But I use ShortPixel on all my sites. They've been on AppSumo three times now. So if they're not there when you see this video, they might be back in the future. So keep an eye out for it. And the lifetime deal for ShortPixel is great value. So after all that, let's quickly show you how this thing actually works. So we go into the dashboard. Let's go to plugins, add new. Let's look for ShortPixel. The only one is this one, ShortPixel Adaptive Images. Click on Install Now and Activate. And now WP Rocket has a cache. So I'm going to clear the cache because it will be serving the cached images. And now if we, if we refresh here, if our cache is cleared, if we copy the image address, it should be very different. Yeah, so if we look at the original one is here, it's in our uploads folder. And the new one, the new link is short pixel. They've adjusted the width to what we need on the homepage. They've used the lossless for the quality. They've made it to WebP, which is Google's proprietary image format for faster image loading. And they're serving it through their CDN. And if we go to this image, it's the appropriate size for what we have here. So if we run GT metrics again, this zero should change, hopefully to 100, because there's only four images. They should all be adaptive now on the homepage. So let's click on retest. So the results are in. We now score 100% on serve scaled images. We bumped up from 78% to 100% on the page speed score on GT metrics. Our load time is the same, hasn't changed. And this was 911 kilobytes, I believe, on the, the previous test. And it's gone down about 120-ish kilobytes. If I retest, it'll bounce around 1.1. It might even go under, under one second sometimes and above one second. It, it tends to fluctuate. But the fact is we are scoring pretty well. And that is with the adaptive images helping us scale the images to the proper size, which WP Rocket does not do. If you are using WP Rocket in conjunction with the adaptive images, there are a couple things you have to be mindful of. First, if we go into, where is it? The media, the lazy load option, do not enable it for images because when you do, it will not serve the adaptive images. It will serve the images from your media library because adaptive images, that plugin also has lazy load functionality. So uncheck this if you're using WP Rocket with adaptive images. I haven't tested with other lazy load plugins, but I assume it's probably the same idea. Don't use lazy load in conjunction with adaptive images because any adaptive images won't be loaded. You'll be loading the images from your media library. Next, the CDN. If you get the deal from AppSumo, it comes with a CDN. So you don't want to have a CDN set up here because you only want one CDN per website. And lastly, WP Rocket has an image optimization plugin called Imageify. It's a good plugin. I just don't use it. I use ShortPixel instead. And you want to make sure you're just using one image compression image optimization plugin on your site at a time. So if you're using Imageify, go ahead and use that. If you're using ShortPixel, make sure you're not using Imageify or a different optimization plugin. So that's how adaptive images work. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And next up is watching this video up here, which shows you how I sped up this exact site from five second load time to just 1.1 second load time. And down here is the video YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.